What's going on guys, Kyvox here and welcome to a new wand review. The last time on wand review, um, we were in September. We are still at September, but we are at the end of September right now. Um, and this next wand was submitted by um, Don. If you guys don't know, the way wand review works is you guys submit your wands to newwandsday at gmail.com. I basically will show them off, say, you know, kind of critique them a little bit. So if you don't want to be critiqued, just don't send them, it's fine. Or just specifically say on there, hey, I just wanted to share this with you, but I don't want you to judge me at all. So don't, please don't use it. And I'll be like, okay, no problem. I usually don't respond. I just eventually get to the wands or don't get to the wands, but I do see all of them. I usually see them when I first get them and then eventually go back and look at them again. So the first one for today was submitted by um, Don from Sweden. Hello to Sweden. And um, this was your first wand. I believe you, you, you cut down a branch or you used a branch um, to, to carve it and you, you did some burns and stuff. And for your first wand, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, there are a, a couple of little things, um, just not for your design, but just the little things that you should pay attention to. Um, right where the guard is and it, and it tapers in and gets skinny, um, it's very skinny. It tapers in a lot and then it gets fatter towards the end. Visually, it looks a little weird, but it also, it, it gives you a little bit of a weak spot right there. And just be careful. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a thicker wand, so it should still be plenty thick um, and you shouldn't have an issue there. Um, and then you did the, the, the rings, the black rings with a lighter, um, pretty good. It's, it doesn't, the wand doesn't look as finished as it, as it could. Um, maybe it just needs like a little bit of a clear coat or something on it just to kind of add in that, that final touch, you know? Something that I always talk about is that final 10%. Um, whenever you think your wand is done, just take a step back and look at it and, and think like, what, what can I do to improve? Don't think like, what can I add to it? But what can I, what can I tweak or what little adjustments does it need? I do like that you weathered the, um, the, the string, the rope, whatever you tied around the handle. I do like that because it, it fits the wand. It doesn't, um, it doesn't look like it's, it's out of place. Good job, Don. Okay. Next up we have, um, Ethan and Ethan. Yeah. Ethan, and this is the first, first of all, Ethan is 12 years old, so congratulations for making this cool wand. Um, and you made this on the lathe. And uh, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I open this up? Thank you. You, you did a good job. Um, it's a fairly simple wand. It, it, there, you know, there isn't a lot going on, but I think you did a good job. Lathes are, um, as much as I give the you know, people that make wands on the lathe uh, flack, but I, they're, they're tough. They're not the easiest thing. If you don't know what you're doing, if you're new to it, it's it's not the easiest thing. Um, once you get better, it's a lot easier to, uh, you know, bang out some wands. But I think you did a good job. Nice job, Ethan. I don't really have any critiques to make. I think it's a nice ratio. I think you did well. Um, so good job, dude. We have another one by Ethan and this one, I think this one looks a lot better. I really like this one. Um, it's a much classier, traditional, um, very suitable for the Harry Potter universe. I think you did a lot better of a job with the um, the lathe part of it. It's a lot, there's a little bit more detail there. You went in a little bit deeper. You got some nice curves. And then you added in a bit of that texture with that stain. I think it's just, this is a really nice one. I think it's better than your other one. So good job once again. We have one submitted by um, Kane Can. Hmm. I like the wand. Um, I think it looks, it's, okay, so it, there isn't a lot to it. It's a very simple design, um, and there's there's a little bit left of finishing on it. Um, you can see in this picture, you can still see all the little hairs and the fibers um, from the actual wood. That just needs to be just trimmed down a little bit, just a little bit of light sandpaper, some like, you know, 300, 400, just to, just a really light to get a nice finish on it, um, just to get rid of those. You know that I'm a fan of um, giving it a little bit of contrast, a little bit of color. I think a little bit of burning would, would go well, would go a long way um, for this one, uh, just because you have a lot of facets, right? So if you, if you hit it with a torch really quick, um, if, you are, if you are younger than 18, do not touch a torch. 
talk to your parents about it. I'm not recommending anybody here play with fire unless you're of age to play with fire. <laughs> and even if you do, be careful. Not my fault if you get burnt, all right? You've been warned. I've burned myself plenty of times. Um, so just a little bit of contrast. I like the, the general shape. It's a very simple, like extended teardrop shape. Um, and it, it looks good. It, it could be a little bit better if you just finish it off a little bit, give it a little bit of sanding, just a little bit of sanding, and then a clear coat would, would go a long way, I feel. Um, nice job, though. Next up, we have a one submitted by um, Theo Hansen. And um, so I, I saw a couple of previous photos of this, and it's it's like a like a like a bear claw and stuff, and some some bones and some dino bones and stuff like that. I think you did a really good job, dude. I I don't think it, it fits in the like the Harry Potter universe, but I think as a wand, especially like a D and D wand, it's very D and D Dungeons and Dragons. If you don't know. Well, now you know, and you should look into it because they got some really weird, like they have like a wand with like a little crystal gem thing at the end. It's like a ball, but then it has another like piece to it. It's really cool. Um, I think your wand looks really cool. I think it, it needs a little bit of, uh, I think you're still like kind of tweaking it and stuff. I think what you could do is um, add a little bit, like if you want the bone to look more bony, um, add a little bit of like more like some like browns and some, uh, some, more earthy colors to the bone, the, the white parts of it. But I think it looks really cool. I think there's a lot of really cool design things. It's very sword-esque. It's very fantasy, like high fantasy stuff. I think you did a great job, man. That's it. Next up, we have um, somebody from the Philippines and their name is Anelmer. Animal, Anelmer. I hope I'm saying it semi-correctly. Um, your wand is a hundred percent made of bone plus some some wraps but for the most part made of bone I think this thing looks very good I think you did a very good job with it it's like super creepy it's super witchy and like I I really like it I have nothing bad to say about it other than no I'm just kidding I don't have anything bad to say about it I think you did a great job nice job Anelmer, Anel, Anelmer. All right, next up, we got some submitted by James here. So, okay, so we have two wands. Um, this first one, it, it's it's pretty good. Um, it, it it needs a little bit of tweaking, but I think you did a you did a pretty good job. There's really nothing bad for me to say about it. Um, and then your second one, I actually I really like. I think. Um, the picture is is not the right ratio, so I can't really give you any uh, better shots than this. But um, I really like it. I like the gen that general like almost like tree shape, like Christmas tree shape, where it's like a triangle and it tapers all the way down. Um, I really like it. It looks like you put some hot glue around it. Again, I can't really tell. I like the general shape of it. I think you did pretty good, man. All right, next up, we have a returning submitter. Um, your name is Ricardo, I think, right? Ricardo? And you submitted two wands. First of all, I loved your last wand that you submitted a while ago. Um, this was actually, I guess, a while ago. Oh, officially, we are in, um, what is it, November? October, we're in October. So if you submitted your wand in October, maybe we're gonna get to him. And before I go on, um, just, just gonna give you guys a heads up. If you submit your wands, try to take a nice clean photo. Um, try to keep the ratio, this ratio here, 16 by nine, right? Um, don't make them super long, don't make them square. This makes it harder for me to show them to you if you do that, if you make it not the right thing and then it just, you know, I may even skip it if it's bad enough. Also try to, you know, maybe take it out, take a photo outside, take it nice and bright. Um, no blurry photos, nice resolution. Yeah. So let's move on to um, Ricardo's wands. The first one is this very pommel heavy with a little bit of metal accent there. Very simple, nice design. I really like it. Nothing, nothing bad to say about it. Question is, okay, I think I figured it out. You slid that piece down, the metal piece down um, to, to make it, okay, cool, cool, cool. Now your next one, ooh, 
love that handle. Um, it's so organic and it's nice and swishy. I just, I, I really like it. Um, you did a lot of burning with it. It was probably a pain in the butt to burn with like a lighter because I know that lighters burn really slow because I've done it before and, uh, and it's just a pain in the butt, I know. I've also burned wood with a heat gun. That's like, I, I just, I, did, I didn't have a lighter. I had a heat gun. I didn't have a torch at the time. So that's how I did it. And it was a terrible idea and I don't recommend it, but it does give you a little bit more, um, more of a, a, a blend, more of a faded effect, a lot easier because you're burning so slowly. But sometimes you burn your hand a little bit. Nice job, um, Ricardo. I think you did, you did an excellent job and they're both beautiful ones. Next up, we have um, a few ones submitted by Paul. Um, so three of them, I have like a little bit of an issue with little things of it, and I'm, I'm about to go over that right now. They are, all, th all four of them are good. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'm gonna just nitpick. That's my job. That's what I'm here to do, is nitpick just for you so that you get a little something out of it. Um, so let's start off with this first one. Um, I know that putting uh, things like like doorknobs and stuff like not doorknobs like cabinet knobs and stuff on stuff um, is it, it's a it's a cool way to add a little bit, um, but I know it's also very hard. It's very hard to get it to look right and um, just kind of have everything flow together well. Um, I one thing I have a problem with this one is that that you you may have wanted to make the the wand a little bit longer so that the um, the pommel isn't too big in comparison with the rest of the wand. Um, I think that's the, the main thing for a couple of them, including this next one. Um, even though you don't have a, you don't have anything added there, uh, the handle is a little too big for how short the wand is, or the wand is really long and still the handle is too big. The ratio is just a little off. I, I would say you need to taper that down a little bit just to make it visually look better. Granted, all of these things I always say in these videos, I, I, I forgot to say this at the beginning, is my opinion, doesn't mean that I'm right. If you think that that wand is perfect, then that wand is perfect, don't listen to me. I'm just giving you my opinion. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if you don't agree with it, but it's just, it's just, that's why we're doing this. So I, I really like the shape of this one. I really like the, the general, like the, it's kind of like a, it's almost like a pistol grip, right? Um, and I, I I actually really like it. The next one, you fell into that same thing where the um, where the pommel is is just big because of that knob, and it, it makes it a lot harder to make the rest of the wand the right. So I think if the rest of the wand was a little bit longer, maybe like 20% longer, 25% longer, it would fit better because then if you're looking at the whole thing, it would look right. Um, now imagine if you have you know like a handle that's this thick but the wand is only this long. It just wouldn't work. If it's this thick, it needs to be, it needs to be longer so that it, it just fits better. So that wood though looks really good. Like I really like the finish on it. I think it looks all like, you know, creepy and there's a lot of little details and grain on there. I think it looks really good. Now this next one is my favorite that you made. Um, it, it, you notice that it's the one that has a thinner handle. Um, I love all those natural knots. I believe those are natural knots on it. Um, I think they look really good. I like the idea of having the um, the color on only part of it and then leaving that centerpiece there bare. Um, I think it's a really cool thing. Uh, I, I I definitely, the knots are my favorite part about it. I think they just look really cool. Um, I've made a couple of like fake style things like that on, on a wand where you just carve it out and make it look like it has like the, the knots. They're technically not knots, right? That was probably like a branch or something with the, uh, things coming out. Um, I think it looks really good. I can't see too much detail, but it looks good. I like it. Next up, we got two ones submitted by Bobby. And um, these are these are both pretty good. You said that you carved them with a pocket knife only, no sandpaper. Understandable why it's a little rough. I really like um, this first one. It's, it's the, I don't know if it's just the general shape of it. I, I don't know what it is about it, but something there just piques my interest in it. And, and makes me really like it. I like that it's just like a, this. it's just just a slight arch and it's very pointy, even though I always complain about stuff being too pointy. Sometimes it works, 
Sometimes it all depends. It almost looks like a thorn, like a really long thorn broken off of a giant tree. Um, it's cool. The next one, I, I don't like as much. I don't know if it's because it's too light. Um, I do like the rough color of the other one. You most likely stained it with like an oak or something stain. Um, I don't like the, the taper on the brown part of this second one going down into the, um, the lower part of the handle. Something just looks a little off there. I don't know if it's because it's too big or what it is, but the first one I just I really like. I think you did, they're both good. I just uh, those are my little nitpicks for that that second one. Next up, we have a submission by Richard, and uh, this one we got we got a few ones here, and I actually like all of them. I think they're all pretty cool ones. Um, one of them falls a little short, but the rest. Good job, dude. So let's start off with um, this first one. Uh, I, I I like it. It's very long. You explained that it's about 20 inches long or 20 inches long exactly, but it's it's not a traditional like Harry Potter style wand. It's more of like the um, like a like a fantasy wand where you know it's more like a club style and you cast from the the bigger end of it uh, where the gem is. There, it definitely has that old school fantasy look to it. Um, the rest are more Harry Potter inspired. I don't know what kind of wood that is, but it looks super dope. And I really like all the little, the little spalted parts at the end on the like the gem side of it. it looks really cool. And then next up we have this weird, cool, like long one with the hole at the end. That one just looks good. The next one just looks, it looks pretty good too. Um, they're all pretty simple designs. Um, when we get over to the fifth one, I would say that's probably one of the more interesting ones. And I don't know if it's because um, because of all that, the, 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 I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's like uh, termites or something that ate through it. Looks really cool. The next one is all spirally. I believe that's probably part of the natural, the natural part of the wood as well. And then the last one I'd say is probably the one that falls a little short for me. Um, but I think you did really good. I think these are, these are super dope. And um, you sent these a while ago, so you may not even be seeing this video, but um, yeah, there are some ideas here that w may inspire me to make something in the future. I really like that, the big the big old club looking one. Um, that would look cool if it was like shrunken down into something smaller for like a traditional Harry Potter style wand. Um, I may have to work on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, like slightly shorter um, wand review video. I'm gonna try to make some more of these more often um, now that everything is kind of starting to settle down with all of this, you know, super bad cold thing going on. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys wanna submit your wands to New Wands Day, um, take it easy because I, I am still in October right now. So I'm still in October of 2019 and I have a lot of wands until now. Um, the submissions have slowed down. So if you do want to submit your wand now, it's a, probably a good time because I have like, you know, I haven't had, I'm going to, I'm going to start catching up and then eventually I'm going to run out. So if you want to submit them now, new wands, gmail.com and, uh, make sure 16 by nine, nice, like angle or something, you know, like across the screen this way would work well. Um, and, uh, I hope to see your wand soon. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye, bye, bye.